Hi everybody, I'm Katalin from PyCom. I'm in charge of developing the Mesh Network and now I'm excited to show you how Mesh Network over LoRa is being created, um, how it's deployed uh, and how we can communicate over it. Uh, for this we're going to create a Mesh Network f out of um, 10, 12 nodes um, and uh, we'll connect uh, with Bluetooth to two of these nodes and we'll communicate between the tablet and the mobile phone uh, over this mesh network. So, for development uh, we're using the, the low Pi 4 uh, put inside of a Pi Sense, um, of course with a LoRa antenna on it, um, connected with, uh, with the battery blink. It's red, meaning that um, now it started scanning the LoRa network and will uh, connect. Uh, we're using also uh, the Phi Pi, which I have, I guess, over yeah, over here. It's a Phi Pi. Uh, on each node, I have written the MAC addresses, which are unique inside of the mesh network. So. Um, I'll continue creating the other nodes and then uh, we'll check them uh, on the mobile application to see how we can um, um, reach them. This one are already green. This means they're inside of the mesh network. So we're going to go somewhere and uh, mount them in some remote places. Just to show you something, this one uh, it's already in the mesh network and it doesn't even have the antenna. So this proves the long range and uh, efficient power consumption of the LoRa. So let's take number seven and uh, mount it somewhere outside. Also, let's take number five and mount it outside also, somewhere here. And also a bunch of others, let's put them somewhere um, around this room. We have uh, here on the couch, the other ones, I think they should be 11 in total. So we should find them uh, on the mobile phone, on the PyLife development mobile phone. Okay, so now we created the mesh network, we deployed it. Let's connect with the mobile application to over Bluetooth to one of the nodes. Let's extract the, the data from the mesh network to see all the mesh uh, nodes and how they connect between each other. So for this uh, we're going to use the PyLife mobile application. We'll see now the list of the Bluetooth devices that we can find. See, we have some devices. We'll connect with uh, mesh number two for instance, I just picked one. Uh, let's see the mesh IP. So here is the, the mesh, then we'll see the list of the devices. So we have, this is the list of the MAC addresses which are inside of the network here, the list. Uh, just a second, I press a different button. So we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. I didn't use 9 because I could mix it with 6. Um, and here is the list of the devices, so we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 
11. So this makes 11 uh, nodes inside of the mesh. Uh, we can extract data for a certain node. So for instance, now we can find out from this debug information the IP of the node number two, his uh, GPS coordinates, the number of the na of neighbors, and for each neighbor we can find the additional information, his own IP address, and so on. Um, and now we should come, we should connect with uh, another mobile uh, device to another um, mesh node. So we'll see the list of devices here. Uh, let's connect with device number 12. Let's see his mesh address. His mesh IP is this one. Let's see the mesh mark list. This has to be refreshed. So we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 10, and 12, and 11. Uh, the list. And here we pull the node states and the list of the devices in the mesh network. So I have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 11. We can pull the properties of a node. Let's pull it again. You can see here his IP, then the GPS coordinates. Uh, then the number of neighbors, and then for each neighbor you can see his properties in this long debug string, which is up here. So we are connected with device number 12 here, we are connected with device number 2 here. So here we should do, go to the connection, and here let's uh, recipient ID device number 2. device number two, there's no message received and here we are connected with device number two and we have to talk with device number 12 no message, let's send a message hello here, the message is arrived Let's write something like hello back. The message appeared here. Hello back. And um, then we can type something to see that the message will appear on the other one. Appeared here. And then um, let's say, are you okay? Message came here. Sure. Bye. Bye. Bye to Bye appeared. So we can communicate back and forth with the with the messaging. So this proves that. Uh, these two mobile phone, mobile devices are connected over Bluetooth to the to two nodes, and the whole communication inside of the mesh is done um, uh, using the uh, the thread protocol. So, I guess that's all.